Unit Eight, Page Sixty Six. Read, Exercise Two. Read and listen to the text. Can eating be a sport? Sonia Thomas is not a big woman. She's a hundred and sixty-five centimeters tall, and she only weighs about forty-five kilos. She usually eats healthy food, rice, vegetables, fruit, fish, and chicken. But once or twice a month, she has a big meal, an enormous meal, and she eats it very quickly. Why? Because she participates in eating competitions. They are very popular in the USA. One of the most famous, a meat sandwich eating competition in New York, started in 1916, and is now a tradition. And thanks to TV coverage, some competitive eaters, like Sonia Thomas, are celebrities. In fact, she's one of the best competitive eaters in the world. For example. She can eat sixty-five boiled eggs in six minutes forty seconds, five kilograms of cheesecake in nine minutes, three point eight kilograms of baked beans in two minutes forty-seven seconds, two point three kilograms of chicken in twelve minutes. In this interview. Sonia tells us about her life and her work. Why did you first take part in eating competitions? When I was a child, I saw an eating competition on TV. A man ate fifty meat sandwiches in twelve minutes. I wanted to be like him. Your nickname in competitions is the Black Widow. Why did you choose that name? Because in competitions, I'm small but very dangerous, like the Black Widow spider. How do you prepare for a competition? I often don't prepare at all. It's unhealthy to eat a lot of food quickly, and the night before a competition, I fast so that I have a good appetite the next day. Do you do a lot of exercise? Yes, I do. I exercise for about two hours a day, five days a week. How can you stay thin when you eat so much in competitions? There are only one or two competitions a month. The rest of the time, I eat healthy food. Do you believe eating competitions are real sport? Yes, of course. It's the most natural sport in the world. You need a strong body and a strong mind for eating competitions, just like other sports. Unit Eight, Page Sixty Nine. Grammar, Explore, Exercise One. Read and listen to the dialogue. Let's have some lunch. Good idea. Are there any pizzas in the fridge? No, there aren't. What have we got? There's some cheese, and there's some lettuce. Is there any butter? Yes, there is. Okay, let's have lettuce and cheese sandwiches. Ah, there's a problem. What is it? We haven't got any bread. Unit Eight, Page Sixty Nine, Grammar, Exploit, Exercise Two. Listen and check. Is there any pasta? Yes, there is. Let's make some tomato sauce for the pasta. We haven't got any tomatoes. Are there any mushrooms? No, there aren't. But there's some money on the table. What for? Let's go out and buy some chips. Unit eight, page seventy. Vocabulary, exercise three. Listen, repeat, and check. Countable nouns. Apples.
Bananas, beans, eggs, olives, mushrooms, tomatoes. Uncountable nouns. Toast, bread, hot chocolate, cereal, coffee. Water, orange juice, milk, yogurt, cheese, jam, tea. Unit eight, page seventy. Listen, exercises one and two. Listen to three orders for room service. One. Hello, room service. Oh, hello. I want to order breakfast, please. Room number. It's one o one. One hundred and one. Okay. Yes, I'm ready. Oh, well, I'd like a bowl of cereal, please. Okay. Anything to drink? Tea, coffee. Wait a moment. I want tomatoes and eggs too. Okay, tomatoes and eggs. And do you want bread or toast with that?、Uh, toast, please. Two slices of toast. And to drink? I'd like a glass of orange juice, and a cup of hot chocolate. Orange juice and hot chocolate. Okay, ten minutes. Two. Hello, room service. Oh, hello. Can I order some breakfast, please? Room number. It's two five seven. Two five seven. Yes, I'm ready. I'd like some cheese, please. Cheese and bread.、Uh, yes, please. And jam. Bread and jam. Any cereal, fruit? Can I have a banana, please? Yes. Anything to drink? A cup of tea, please. Is that all? That that's all. Thank you. Three. Hello, room service. Oh, hello. I want to order some food for breakfast. Room number. Uh, it's five six nine. Five six. I'd like cereal, please. Just a moment, please. Five six nine. Okay, I'm ready. A bowl of cereal, please. Cereal. Anything else? Yes, please. I want eggs and a banana. Eggs and a banana. Any bread or toast? No, thanks. To drink, a cup of coffee, please, and a bottle of water. Coffee and a bottle of water. Okay, five minutes. Unit eight, page seventy-three. Language skills. Exercise one. Listen and check. Good afternoon, the Tower Bridge Restaurant. How can I help you? Hello, I'm phoning to book a table for next Friday evening. Certainly, madam. How many people? It's for twelve. A table for twelve on Friday the fifth of May. And what time would you like the table for? Uh, we'd like to eat at about six thirty. Six thirty. Can I have your name, please? Yes, it's Diane Shelton. Diane Shelton. Thanks. Is there a set menu? Yes, we have a set menu for groups. Oh, good. How much is it? It's twenty-two pounds. Fine. We like the set menu, and、uh, do you serve any dishes for vegetarians? Yes, we do. We have a good choice of vegetarian dishes. How many vegetarians are in your group? There are four. Four vegetarians. Well, Miss Shelton, I look forward to seeing you on Friday. Everyday English, eight. Teacher's book, page one hundred and sixteen. In a cafe. 
Exercise two. Read and listen to the dialogue. Can I help you? Could I have a cheese sandwich, please? Of course. Anything to drink? I'd like a coffee, please. Sure. And for you? Can I have a pizza, please? Would you like any extra toppings? Yes. Tuna, please. No problem. Anything to drink? Yes, please. A coke. That's nine pounds thirty, please. Here you are. Thank you. Here's your change. Thanks. I'll bring the food to your table. Enjoy your meal. Everyday English eight. Teacher's book, page one hundred and sixteen. In a cafe. Exercise four. Listen and repeat. One. Six pounds. Two. Two pounds fifty. Three. Ten pounds. Four. One pound twenty-five. Five. Six pounds ninety-nine. Six. Eight pounds twenty. Seven. One pound fifty. Eight. Three pounds. Everyday English, eight, teacher's book, page one hundred and sixteen. In a cafe, exercises six and seven. Listen to the dialogue in a cafe. Hi, what would you like? Fish and chips, please. Anything to drink? Yes, please. A bottle of water. No problem. What can I get for you? Could I have tomato soup, please? Of course. Anything else? Yes, chicken curry. Okay. Would you like a drink? Tea, please. Is that all? Yes, thanks. That's seventeen pounds fifty, please. Here you are. Twenty pounds. Thank you. Here's your change. I'll bring the food to your table. Skills Roundup, page seventy-five. Listen, exercise two. Listen and check. One. My hero is a sports person. He's American and he's from Texas. He was born in nineteen seventy-one. In 1996, he was very ill, and doctors said that he had cancer. But he got better, and he won the Tour de France seven times. Now he has a charity which helps people with cancer. I think he's very kind and very brave. Two. My hero is a politician. He's South African. And he was born in 1918. He was the first black president of South Africa from 1994 to 1999. But before that, he fought for the rights of black Africans in South Africa, and he spent 27 years in prison. He's a very brave and honest man, and he's a hero for millions of people around the world. Three. My hero is a political leader. He was born in India in 1869, and he died in 1948. At that time, India was ruled by the British. For more than 30 years, he worked hard to get the British to leave India. I think he is one of the most important people in history. He was very intelligent and brave.